Well, if you're a bank, if you're a brokerage firm, if you're an exchange, if you're a regulator, if you're a financial institution, you are accumulating financial data. And if you're the one that actually has to manage the systems where this data resides, you know that it can be slow, it can be extremely costly, and it can be long to set up. You're probably using traditional technology. You're probably re using relational databases, SQL, and these things have limits. There's only so much data you can put it in and still work with it. The point comes and you're butting your heads against a wall and you probably are doing that today. So what's the solution? Well, let us present the financial big data solutions from TickSmit. And before I talk about those, I'd like to give you a little bit of intro about our company, about TickSmith. So we started in 2012, and we were founded by industry veterans in the brokerage technology space and market data. And we had a great problem. We had the ability to work with market data from a firm called Six Financial. We're talking a lot of data. So you have to imagine this. Right? Every trade and quote on every instrument equities, options, commodities, listed on every exchange around the world. Okay? We're talking one day of data, we're talking a few billion trade messages. We're managing six years of that data. So we have to build a platform to actually be able to work with this data, to be able to take it in, to man manage it, to be able to transform it, make it usable for different types of users. And we knew that traditional technologies would not work. We said to ourselves, well, what do others do? What, what does a firm actually have a lot of data do to manage data? What does Google do? And first, like Google came up with the concepts for big data technology. And that's what's in use today by firms like Google and Twitter and Facebook to be able to work with the mountains of data that they have to accumulate for their business. So we built the first commercial platform based on big data technology, specifically geared towards financial data. And today, it is used by hedge funds, exchanges, brokerage firms, all sorts of financial institutions. We launched it in 2013, and we're doing some incredible things with it. And I'm going to show you a few examples. So David's going to log into our system, and, which is hosted in Tier 3 Data Center. Uh, it's our own cloud infrastructure that we've built. And every day, we're ingesting thousands of files. Okay? Taking it in, we're doing some massive transformations to the data to make it usable. An example is I've mentioned the, uh, the six financial data. So you have to imagine, these are huge data sets. We're talking about complete trading history. And you can simply go and select what exchange you want to go and get access to, what day, what month, what year, and you get access to the data, you get access to transform data, data adapted for charting, data with specific calculations that customers require, and you can access it through a web interface or through the APIs that we provide so your systems can connect to our systems. Okay? So SIX is a very good example. Uh, it's very in the same vein. Uh, ChaiX Canada has selected us, and they're an ETS, so like a stock exchange up in Canada. About 20% of all the trades execute on that venue. And they have the problem they need to make their history available to their customers, to their users, to the community. And through this product, which will be live in a few weeks, they'll be able to do all of that and more. Now, I'm going to show you a different use case. Here, we switch to an application that actually uses news, okay? lots of news. So we've loaded three years of global news headlines as well as social media, I tweets, and we've got about 1.2 billion headlines in there with all sorts of data and all sorts of additional data that we add to this content. And we can easily make this available through the interfaces, not only the, the data itself, but all sorts of deep analytics to be able to get some meaning out of the data. Okay. Different application for compliance. Okay. So this is uh, a, a jurisdiction, different country that has 15 trading destinations, so exchanges, dark pools, ATSs, anywhere where a stock can trade. Okay. And we're talking, again, hundreds of millions of messages daily. So we're taking all of that in, putting it into our system. But for people to actually be able to use the data, they need to get a global view. So we intermesh it and create one unique virtual exchange out of that. And then from there, you can go run analytics, do reports, and see any facet of transactions in that specific country, whether 
based on the instrument, based on the trader, based on uh, the firm, anything you want to, it's now available point and click. Okay. So those are just a few examples of what we're doing with our platform, but we're doing many other things. We have uh, a project right now where we're loading end user data, I, trading data from uh, user accounts at retail brokers, and we're talking hundreds of thousands of accounts, and all of the history, putting it in our, into our systems, combining it with other data sets, running massive calculations against those to get meaningful results, and that's what we have. We have the ability to do massive computation against massive amounts of financial data. Right? So your financial institution, you are accumulating data. Right? The more you accumulate, the more valuable this data becomes, but only if you can work with it. And with our products, you can work with it. Right? And one of the things we like to do when we get started in a project is we like to actually show our product at work. And with a financial institution, we will do a live proof of concept with their data, with a use case, and very quickly what they can get out of the applications that we have. So before I leave, I first I would like to thank you for your time in listening to our story. And just like to mention that myself, David, and uh, Linda, who's somewhere in the crowd, uh, are here for the rest of the day. We're going to be here tomorrow as well. And we'll be happy to talk to you about how we can make your big data usable.